When you're coaching clients and athletes, asymmetry is real. So let me show you one of the ways that I try and work on and address asymmetry using everybody's favorite exercise, the split squat. Hey my friends, Mike Robertson here. And I don't care if you work with gym pop clients or high level athletes. If you coach long enough, you start to see people that move with asymmetries. In a lot of cases, people have this tendency to load or stay on their right side longer than they do on their left. So I tried for years in vain to try and fix this asymmetry, to try and get people to load their left side better, get off their right side a little bit better. And you know, whether it was different apparatuses, dumbbells, barbells, cable machines, whether it was um, you know, right hand loading, left hand loading, I couldn't quite figure it out. So I really started to figure this out a couple months, maybe a year ago, after a discussion I had with my business partner, Bill Hartman, and an IFAST employee, Eric Huddleston. So we're talking about different strategies, different methods that you can use. And I was always under the impression that if you have somebody hold a weight in their left side, you're gonna get almost this like frontal plane shift and you're gonna help them load that left side better. But as we started to flesh it out, I started to realize, hmm, Okay, that makes sense, but it doesn't always work. And I was loading people with the left side in their split squat, and I wasn't getting the result that I wanted. So between Eric and Bill, we kind of flesh it out, and I start to realize, hey, if we put the weight in the right hand, then that's gonna help me load their left hip better, and it's gonna help them push off their right hip better. So give me just a second. I'm gonna show you how I coach it, how I cue it, to get people to better load their left side and learn how to push off their right side more effectively. All right, so let's dive in on this offset split squat, all right? And one of the big issues that I told you up front was that I had a tendency to put the weight in the left hand. And what that does is when the weight's in the left hand, it has this tendency to spin them to the right, which is problematic if they're already going to the right. I was driving them into their asymmetry. So as soon as I switched hands and I started putting the weight in the right hand, it cleaned everything up. So here's how we do it. If somebody struggles to load their left hip, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the weight in their right hand, and this is pretty normal for most people, right? This is an offset contralateral split squat. Inhale down, exhale, stand up. Most people, when they do that, are gonna feel their left hip, they're gonna feel their left hamstring, they're gonna feel all the right stuff. Now, if I switch that, and I had somebody do that with the left hand and the right leg in front, it's gonna drive them onto their right side. But if they're already stuck on their right side, it's only gonna make matters worse. So here's where we're gonna go right side only. Okay, so we're gonna put the right foot in front, we're gonna keep the weight in the right hand. I'm gonna do my best not to fall over here. And again, we're gonna come up and then, or excuse me, come down and then press up. Come down and press up. And I'm one of those people where I have a real tendency to get stuck on my right. As soon as I put the weight in my right hand, it helps me drive back to the left, and I feel like I've got so much more control over my split squat and over my asymmetry. All right, so I hope this video helped you out, hoped you learned a thing or two. If you did, make sure to smash that like button for me. If you're on the gram, go to my main page. You can subscribe and follow me there. You can also get to the robertsontrainingsystems.com website through the link there. If you're on the YouTubes, make sure to subscribe to my page. And again, if you go into the description of this video, you can find a link to my website. But thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.